Hi, I'm Tim Burns, project manager at Bella Vista Station and Tunnelling Site. I'm a qualified civil engineer. I've been in the industry for 13 years, focusing on the construction of roads, bridges and tunnels. Elizabeth is a 900 ton tunnelling machine, specifically designed for Sydney's geology. Elizabeth will dig 120 metres a week on average through Sydney sandstone and shale, great rock to be tunnelling through. She's one of the four mega machines that will dig the twin 15 kilometre tunnels from Bella Vista to Epping. From here, Elizabeth will dig nine kilometres to Cherrybrook. The TBMs have been designed and built specifically for Sydney's geology and will work underground 24 hours a day, staffed by a rotating crew of 15. Elizabeth was reassembled over the past six weeks by 71 workers who put together thousands of small components from 18 shipping containers as well as 22 large pieces. It took two 500 tonne cranes about seven hours to get just the single circular cutter head into place, all 105 tonnes of it. Each cutter weighs 250 kilos and will be replaced about every three weeks. That's how quickly this rock wears through toughened tungsten steel. Underground, Elizabeth is her own self-contained worksite. She's connected to power, ventilation, cooling towers, water pumps, a water treatment plant and a massive conveyor belt which will bring all the crushed rock back to the surface. In fact, if you connect the conveyors for all four TBMs end to end, they'll stretch from the Sydney CBD to Blacktown, around 35 kilometres long. Standing here now, you can see exactly where the new station will go and where the 15 kilometres of tunnels will start. Now all that's left is to start tunnelling on Australia's biggest public transport project. So stay tuned as we launch Elizabeth. Elizabeth.